hello guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to discuss what are the type of delegates so this is one of the key important question that is being asked in the csop.net interviews okay so basically they will ask you the difference between func predicate and action okay so these are the three types of delegates so we'll try to understand what are these uh, three delegates and how can you like uh, know about these delegates uh, with the help of syntax okay so uh, i will be uh, starting with the first type of delegate that is basically called as uh, a generic delegate okay then second type is uh, action delegate okay and the third type is predicate delegate okay so all these three are the types of delegates so first of all you should know what are the type of delegates and uh, uh, then we'll be explaining what are this type of delegates are so generic delegate is nothing but like uh, it, is, it is just uh, created to make the delegate uh, more simple and we are using here func plus lambda okay so from func plus lambda expression uh, use will make the delegate more simpler so we'll see what are the syntax and how we can achieve it okay so uh, we 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 can write it uh, using the func keyword so you have to write func okay and in under bracket you need to give the input as well as the output so let's say we want to create we want to calculate the area of the circle okay so in this case uh, let's give the input as integer because we want to give the radius in integer and our output can be in decimal so let's take the output as double so our output data type is double okay and then here uh, you can give the name as area is equal to then you can pass r lambda expression okay and then what is the area of the circle it's 3.14 into r into r okay so that's done okay now the next thing is you need to pass the values of r into this area okay so let's just store that into the area of the circle so double area of circle is equal to will be using this area and will be passing the radius at 7 let's say so now what happened uh, this area circle will give you the area of the circle okay so let me uh, like show it uh, to you using the console dot write line so what i can write here is uh, let me just type the delegate type only so what i can do here is it's like uh, generic slash func delegate okay and what is your out so here what we are doing it we are calculating the area okay so area is basically nothing but plus area of the circle okay? so this this statement is going to give you the area of the circle so here we have you generic delegate or we can also call it as func delegate okay let's come to the second type of delegate so that is basically action delegate okay so in some of the delegates so here if you see we are providing both uh, input as well as the output so input is integer and output is double okay so the de uh, delegate uh, like many times you don't need the output for a function okay in that case action delegate can be used okay so like uh, displaying purpose or anything so you don't want the return type so let's say for a displaying purpose we, we can use this action delegate okay so what is the syntax here is so you'll be writing action angular bracket okay let's say uh, you want you want uh, to create a function which will print something that you are providing okay so let's uh, give the type as a string and then i can give the name as something like print names okay and then here what i can do is okay i can simply write names okay and then so this names is going to be printed uh, inside the console dot write line okay so i can write console dot right line what happened and here i can pass this name okay names so what does that mean is so whatever the names you are providing by calling this print name it is going to print you the name only okay so let's do one thing if you write here this one print names and then you can pass here as uncus it is going to print the uncus okay because it is going to call this console dot right line and then it's going to print the punkus okay so here we don't need the console dot right line it's going to work uh, let's come to the last one that is called predicate del predicate delegate okay so here what is that like it is an extension of the generic delegate or the func delegate okay it is used for the checking like if you want to check uh, for a certain uh, a statement or certain method where the uh, 
like outcome is true or false uh, so the return type is always boolean right so you'll be using this predicate delegate in that case so let's say if you want to check the length of the string okay in that case you can write the uh, predicate delegate so how can you write it so let's uh, give the predicate as the key you can pass the string as the type okay and then you can write something like uh, check length okay then you can use the lambda expression so you can use something like x dot length okay greater than uh, what i can get four okay so that is fine now what happened so whatever the x you are go going to provide by calling this check length okay and if you are like uh, uh, giving the <coughs> length having greater than 4 then it is going to return you the true value in other case it is going to return you the false value so let's uh, demonstrate two cases here so let's call the console.write line and within this okay we are going to call this check length and we are going to pass here let's let's say uh, we you need to pass the string right so let's pass pankas so pankas has obviously the length greater than 4 so this statement is going to return you the true value okay so this is going to return you the true okay what happened here okay one more bracket is missing okay uh, let me take another statement where i will be passing goa okay so goa doesn't have the length greater than 4 so it is going to print you false because it doesn't satisfy that condition so these are the three types of delegates we can use so let me run it okay and show you something so let me run it and put one breakpoint here okay so i do not want to go here so let's directly come here okay and uh, let's see let's go to f10 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 so what is the output which has printed till now okay so generic funk area is 153.86 okay so <coughs> uh, let me put one a space here so that it will be easy for you guys to understand okay so like this okay if i can run it now let me remove this breakpoint from here okay and let me put one breakpoint here okay so let's see what is the uh, output is has printed so the sum is it this is a, like type of delegate which we discussed in the previous session you need to focus from this one so generic funk area is 153.86 so it has calculated the area and it is given you the output let's go to the second type of delegate and see what is the what is the output is printing okay so it should print punkage ideally we'll we'll see both together at the end okay so uh, okay console dot right line ch check length punkers is going to uh, print you true because the length is greater than 4 it is going to print false because length is greater less than 4 so now let's see the output all together so see uh, for the accent delegate it has printed punkers here okay and for the console dot right line check length it has printed true as i see it and for the goa it has printed false so these are all three types of delegates we have we can use it at certain places based on the requirement so that is what you need to explain to the interviewer if you ask you to write the syntax and how it works so thank you all for watching the video so if you like the video please uh, do like the video and like share the content with your friends and do subscribe the channel thank you all